After court documents showed that Proud Boys organizer Enrique Tario had previously worked as an FBI informant, he took to Telegram to offer an explanation insisting that he is no longer a snitch. Okay, And in fact, he did not help snitch on other people. He was just clarifying his role in some stuff that he was involved in. Now, of course, that's not true. There are court transcripts that make it abundantly clear that he was working with the feds to help you know, prosecute marijuana growers and smugglers who were trying to get people across the border. And so, I want to give you a little expert excerpt of what he had to say on Telegram to try to try to cover his past as an informant. He says, the article sensationalizes the fact that in this case there was some heavy cooperating. No, it, it actually makes it clear that you were cooperating. There was lots of heavy cooperating. I have addressed this before in podcasts and other interviews I have done. My case had multiple defendants that were and are still friends, minus one that recently passed away. We worked with the prosecutor to tell her the details about all of our roles. Now, that's not true because his involvement in helping the feds prosecute and convict others. Uh, led to his sentence getting reduced by several months. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't matter what he had to say, guys, because uh, the response by his Proud Boy friends didn't, didn't really seem to buy it, right? They say, in one case, um, only a snitch would write a 10 paragraph post saying they're not a snitch. This snitch worked with the feds, this phony trader should step down. Step down from what, guys? <laughs> step down from what? Like you guys are all clowns, every one of them. Like he should step down from he should step down from this fine establishment. Like step down from that. you guys are clowns. Yes, this throne of diarrhea. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It sounds like a horrible episode of Sons of Anarchy, where like you know, right? It's like step down from what? Like it's yeah. This and then the fact that they use the word snitch over and over again is just so like 2002 like gangster movie. I love I love this, but once a rat, always a rat. According to what people are tweeting, that that this man is definitely an informant. He's playing you all. Wrote somebody else. I mean, yeah. He, he wants to, he, you snitch, no matter how well you want to cut it or how, how well you try to like make it beautiful and pretty, it is what it is. Yeah, we're the actual white supremacists. We're not playing you at all. We're not telling you that you should blame people of color and Jews for all your problems and Democrats. No, no, no. We're not using you at all, uh, Proud Boys. Anyway, uh, Proud Boy, feel shame. Shame boy now. Uh, Enrique's story is fascinating to me um, because when I first saw it, uh, the headline, you assume, oh, great. So he was snitching on Proud Boys in the service of trying to expose white supremacy um, and trying to help to root it out. That's what the feds were using him for. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were using him to uh, go after underground marijuana farms. Cool, bad boys. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, the, and this is what we know of the Trump administration. Actually, is that they ramped up all of this? They they ramped down anything that had to do with domestic terrorism or uh, homegrown terrorism and ex far right extremism, and they ramped up things like going after weed farms. Cool, cool, cool. And I think it, it speaks to so much more than than just. The Proud Boys, and it's funny that they're all whining now, but like it speaks really to the failure of the FBI and the failures and the ways in which they choose and pick informants, often who have criminal records, often mm -hmm. who are actually poor, who are not doing well in life. They right. have offered them money to do things like entrap people for different kinds of crimes. And then it also speaks to the crossover between if they knew he was in the Proud Boys and was leading violence against Against Black Lives Matter demonstrators and in in against the election results, like if they knew that, why why they why 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 they still get through in the Capitol? Why did that happen? So yeah, it, it just it's such a it's such a story that like tells tells a broader story of the moment that we're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, a few things. They actually arrested him specifically Enrique Tario. Um, 
several days prior to the Capitol riots taking place because he was planning on going to the Capitol riots and they were keeping a close eye on him and um, you know, they caught him with a bunch of weapons and stuff. And so he got arrested and wasn't, you know, able to attend the riots. Um, you know, there was all sorts of obviously there were there was a breakdown in the system, and if I want to put it in a generous way uh, regarding preventing those riots from taking place. We've talked about it um, quite a bit, but with Enrique Tarrio, I mean, this case that he was uh, caught up in, and by the way, he was doing pharmaceutical fraud. He was stealing insulin and relabeling it for resale. That was one of the things he was doing, and that's what he was facing charges for uh, in 2014. Um, but but I agree with you. I mean, the FBI and especially William Barr during the mm. Trump administration not only focused on those grow houses. William Barr would try to shut down dispensaries in states that had legalized marijuana for recreational use. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.